here's what I have so far. I did some more wiring. Uh, this is the brake. The brown wire is the brake. It's just standard um, lamp cord. Got the wire, all the wire from those. The terminal blocks from Lowe's, the ground lugs, the a lot of stuff from Lowe's. Um, the connectors from Anderson Power. These are the ones that are standard on power chairs. The motor controller from Ion Motion. It's upside down this way. Um, the ultrasonic sensors from Spark Fun, which I have the code already on. Uh, the parallax form. Uh, this here I picked up at Lowe's. There's a black band that goes around there. I took it apart because I've got to, uh, I was going to just take this piece off here, this yellow piece on the bottom, and uh, just wire into it there, but there's too many, too much electronics in there exposed, so I just put it back together. I'll just solder right to these things here and be good with that. The Raspberry Pi Zero W with uh, it's got Wi-Fi. This is going to connect the P two PWM outputs are going to connect to the PWM inputs on on this cable. Pin one is D out, which is connected to uh, one side of both motor brakes. The other side of the uh, of the motor brakes are connected to 24 volts, which these brakes are capable of, and that's how it was wired from the original controller that was on this. Um, there's going to be eight of these around the whole thing, every 45 degree angle, so I can uh, detect distance in front. So I don't bump into anything and have it steer away and if someone's hand is a little jittery make sure that it uh, stays like an inch or two away from the wall so that the, the side wheels here don't uh, hit anything. So about maybe four inches I'll stay away from uh, the corners and stuff, the edges. Um, I'm going to read those uh, with the propeller. I've already got the code I said on uh, Parallax Forums. I'll try to link to it if I remember. And the propeller will be connected to the Raspberry Pi simply because it's going to be the main controller. It's going to receive the signals from another Raspberry Pi which will be the controller there's no camera in this I just attached the camera thing uh, it's got the Raspberry Pi already in it and the USB cable is connected to the joystick controller <coughs> Oops. the left joystick I'm using for controlling the motion of the chair. The right joystick is going to control any attachments. So I'm using Pi Game to read the uh, read the controller, and this one here will be connected to the attachments, and it won't read this. It won't be sending signals to that uh, Raspberry Pi zero. Uh, the other, the, the attachments will have their own Raspberry Pi and their own motor controllers on them, which will be even more expensive, but uh, my main goal is to get this fully working. And I believe it is still plugged in. I've got a, I don't have ion motion uh, connected, but um, this is connected to the computer right now. I want to have this connected to the Raspberry Pi. And 
This Raspberry Pi also has a keyboard and mouse connected through here. Uh, this was sort of expensive to for this, but I think it's going to be worth it. I don't really need any pins off of this one. This one's going to be doing most of the reading of the um, game of the game controller to have somewhat of control over it. I'm going to have one of the buttons to be a mode switch, so that only one joystick is uh, being read at a time. So in case someone's hand goes over and touches something, it doesn't cause a malfunction of something else. It just won't send a signal while it's in a certain mode, except for from one joystick. you got to push a button, change it to another mode, and then the other joystick will be activated, and this one will be deactivated. And this is so... Uh, my fiancé, who's disabled, won't accidentally hit something and... Uh, uh, cause it to go haywater. And this is the connector I'm going to use for connecting to the Raspberry Pi or the propeller, which I don't have connected yet. I have these pinouts connected to find it. trying to do this all one-handed so it's a little awkward here. <clears throat> These here, this is the pinout of the port that I just showed you. Um, if you take and number these one number on this side of the page, uh, 1 through 15. That's how I have these pins set up so I can keep them separate. And they're in groups depending on how they're grouped over here. Uh, D out 1, D out 2. So D out 1 is going to be on pin 1. D out 2 on my configuration is a pin 2. And so on. All the way down to 3, 4, 5, and so on and so on and so on. Then over here is the uh, where I'm going to have the encoders and I've got to make a quadrature encoder which I am making out of the US 1881 LUAs uh, latching um, Hall effect sensors. So inside here I'm going to have to put uh, some magnets and I have some magnets for that they're really small and I'm going to use 64 of them because the motor controller can read up to 32 um, pulses per rotation <clears throat> and the the north pole will be a high pulse and the south pole is going to be uh, pulling this that signal low and I've got to do that with these um, latched switches So um, I'm going to have one up here in about the middle, and then I'm going to have another one offset over here. And I had to remove the uh, the wheel well off of this chair, which I didn't record. And there's some mounting holes here and some screws that I can use, so it won't have any fenders, so it can't get wet, or else the Hall effect sensors will get uh, probably shorted out. So this is going to be only for in-home right now. Um, essentially, I'd like to have it to be go to to go outside and in uh, like go to the store so you can grab items off the shelf and stuff like that off high areas, just like a normal person would. That's not in a wheelchair. Other than that, I think that's about it. There is some. A schematic here of the wiring that I have so far. I'll post this on the forum. This is the brake of each motor and this is each motor here. Um, 
positive is wired to the outside port of the MCP263 uh, which is M1B and positive over here is connected to M2A and this is so the motors rotate in the same direction this here I was told by ion motion that this is in the wrong spot this I, I use this spot here for the interrupt because that's the way it was configured from the factory on the other motor controller that was in it. But Ion Motion said this should be over in this area. Um, and this is where the, uh, the protection circuitry for the regenerative uh, motor functions and stuff um, don't damage the controller. So I gotta have a protection circuit in there which is a uh, diode and a fuse and I think a resistor. And they have a schematic for that in Ion Motion's uh, manual someplace in here. It's actually in the, this is a data sheet. They have the manual someplace else. Or I have the manual someplace different than where I'm at right now, so I won't go over that. Yeah, it's not in here. Oh, yes, it is. This is how this is what I have to put into that area where the uh, where this is. So there's going to be the resistor, the switch, the emergency stop, and the fuse and diode. And it's all got to be rated for like 24 to uh, volts or things because of the way I got wired. Uh, this is how I'm going to wire the motor controller or the uh, encoders. And this is how I'm going to uh, power um, the, the sensors that are going to be on this. The Raspberry Pi and the propeller are going to be connected through one of these. And I may have to get um, a separate one for each uh, microcontroller. The Raspberry Pi will be, only be able to use the uh, bottom port on this. And the propeller, I think I might do the same. Just run the 3.3 volts off of this to power the propeller. And this does run off of 24 volts and 12 volts. This is a Stanley. It's got a model number on here. Like I said before, I picked it up at uh, Lowe's. See it? 12 to 24 volts. 4.4 amps total. Part number if you I'm going to find it, and you can find them other places besides Lowe's. Just make sure it has 2.4 amps on one of the ports, and that's where you got to plug the Raspberry Pi in. And uh, this here is an MCP23017. It is a 16-bit I.O. expander with serial interface. This is what I'm going to connect to the propeller. And it's going to control the uh, the trig signal, the trigger signal for these here. So I only have to use three or four pins for eight of the for eight of these. <coughs> I was going to have a um, a servo mechanism up here to uh, control one of these so I can take readings have it pan back and forth to get a better reading and the servos that I got with the kit um, were defective so the whole thing just like burned up <coughs> and I do have I was going to use these here stacked to control everything these are from spark fun they're the servo shields, <clears throat> and I forget which chip it is, I think it's this one here. The address lines that are right above my finger by pin 1, those um, are floating. And that's how it shows in the schematic also. 
and those I'm going to try to solder some wire wrap wire on them and connect the ones I need to to ground and the other ones to um, to uh, uh, power so I can use both of them on the same I2C bus which it doesn't use all these pins here it only uses uh, the I2C that's going to be up in this area here so that way I don't have to have a huge cable going to the Raspberry Pi. But yeah, that's what I got so far. And I think that's about it for this video. I've got all the, the bag of um, uh, ultrasonic sensors. HC SR04s, and that's what I I uh, was reading with the propeller and another forum thread and I'll try to remember to link to that from this video and where I'm updating what I'm doing with this here. This here is not going to be in the same spot. Once I get everything going and working um, I'm probably going to use uh, something simple like uh, double sided tape to hold these down onto this board so I could drive it around once I get that far. I have the code for, to read the uh, joystick done. I don't have any code to send from this one to that one. And I'm going to have to set static IP addresses up for those, which will have to be done for each. It's going to be different for everyone, uh, what you have connected to your network and stuff like that. So I don't know if you can communicate from directly from this to this and vice versa uh, I don't see why you couldn't but I don't know if it's it's set up to do that so I'll have to research that a little bit but yeah that's how it's going so far the rest is just going through code uh, trying to write some code to get this all working Eventually, I'll have another Raspberry Pi uh, 0 or Raspberry Pi 3 uh, on the attachments and stuff. And I'd like to have one on this here, but my other Raspberry Pi 3 is being used by something else, so I don't want to take it apart.